it's time to do a mail time. I've got two of these boxes in the mail. Uh, primary lithium batteries forbidden for transport abroad passenger aircraft. Please handle with care, fragile, thank you. What does the label say? Oh, look at that, it's from Jehu Garcia to Jehu Garcia. Hmm, it's almost like if I made this label and I send it to myself. Nice uh, reinforced tape, that's pretty good. Ooh, nice giant bubble. And of course, the batteries. Uh, they sent me a whole baggie of the screws. All right. Oh wow, look at that, they interlock. All right, for all of you out there that order these guys, like me, they're going to start showing up to your doorstep. I was down there yesterday to pay a visit just to check out how they were doing, and I made the following video here. Boom, play the video. Hey guys, we are here in Oceanside, and I'm here with Austin. This is the guy hey that is sold you all those batteries. Actually sold us, because I bought some of those batteries too. I'm here to, you know, just to show you guys that it's not fake. <laughs> We're it's really real. gonna ship the batteries. It's taking a little while because uh, you guys bought a lot of them. It's actually pallets and pallets of batteries. Yeah. I thought it was going to be, yeah, these guys are taking them apart. They're putting them in boxes. You gotta ship them correctly so that they don't, you know, yeah. get damaged on the way to you guys and stuff. Uh, but we, what do, what do you think uh, our estimation is for all of these packs to be out? Well, we finished about one third of all the shipping. So all the shipping? Today we're doing a second wave and then so we the, got one last wave. So after hopefully that. by two, to the end of today, it'll be like two thirds of them will be shipped. Well, I think by Maybe. tomorrow everything will be done. And by tomorrow, yeah. So by Friday, by the end of this week, they should all be out and you guys should start receiving them. in your hands by next week, yeah. 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 yeah, And we have a, a few extra little things that we figured you guys are gonna find really useful like the interconnects if you bought yeah. a bunch of these we have the little you know copper things that connect in there uh they save them they usually people that take apart stuff and recycling yeah, one, yeah they, they want to scrap them, away. them but yeah decide to keep them they'd be useful they they did great because they saved them for us and so i'm gonna make another you know put them in the video here off from uh, i think we're gonna ask for what like two dollar fifty or two yeah. bucks or something like that for those and the other thing that you guys are gonna like is the little connections in the back for the balance leads and stuff uh you guys are gonna be able to make some pretty legit uh packs battery packs of these and have all the little connectors and stuff they're pretty high quality uh silicon cables uh they look pretty nice yeah like 300 volt rated and yeah the high temperature stuff yeah that's it's really really cool i think we're gonna sell those to you guys for like 10 bucks uh, it's worth it it's It'll worth save it. you all the cable yeah. and you don't have to go looking the for those little connectors perfectly measured yeah so it's gonna be super cool guys thank you to everyone that bought those batteries yeah, thank you it was a good and a lot of good reception yeah i think so i mean those batteries are awesome uh definitely we'll let you guys know if there are more right yeah yeah. You can expect more pretty soon. Yeah, there's more uh, in the future uh, as far when it comes to those batteries. And probably some other little products. He showed me his warehouse here and he's got some stuff that I think uh, you guys would be interested Possibly, in. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to probably develop a little, few more, a, for, a, a few more ways that you guys can uh, do some cool projects with the stuff that he's got here. All right? All right, guys, thank you for watching this. We'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye. Now, just like you, this is my first time getting my hands on these, and they are pretty, pretty cool modules. I didn't realize they interlock. They have these little pins here at the edge that locks them in to each other. Not in a very secure way. It's just, you know, so they won't slide. But they're symmetrical, and so, which means that you can either post them like this, or you can rearrange them like this. If you breach these two here, what you have done is essentially double the capacity of this one module. It's got these screws here that you can then use to attach them to the wall or to a plate, uh, to another row of these. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you can probably um, 
run all thread this way and then nuts in here and attach them there's all kinds of way for these guys to be uh, assembled and unfortunately i didn't see too many of you ordering too many of them i think the maximum order was like 30 30 of these modules or whatever which is unfortunate because these are going to be really easy to put together now of course the cool thing about these is that they, we might have more in the future in fact he has about 400 500 of these things left that he couldn't make available to us uh to purchase because he, he has a commitment to someone else to sell them to him but he said if they that falls through then he would uh let us know and then we can buy more also in the future there is also the possibility that there's going to be more of this this could just be the beginning for details uh that are mostly unknown to us these products product which had these cells here couldn't be sold had to be destroyed and that's a good thing for us because then that gives us access to brand new cells that are arranged in very nice uh modules at a fraction of the cost so of course the things that we're talking about on the video are these these are the bus bars these are the interconnects uh modules together right there's this and then there's, of course, this other type that interconnects them this way from one level to the other. Also are the cables. These cables are the ones that have the little connectors for the back. And these essentially are just balance leads. They connect, they're arranged in two rows of seven modules for a 48 volt uh, module assembly. And so these are going to also be available in the following links right here and with that i say good night uh guys if you miss this sale remember that you can still get this exact same uh, battery cell on ebay right now for about a dollar 20 cents a dollar 10 up down to like a dollar 10 of the order enough uh of these uh hoverboard batteries right and you can get that right here I'm gonna include that link there. Those there's plenty of those batteries there. There's a ton of people that are using them. And stay tuned for future videos where I'm gonna show you several more ways of how to use this to make a simple DIY power wall. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Spence? Hey man, how's it going? Split. Yeah. What's going on? This is your car. I'm back yeah. at EV West and Spencer here. You guys know Spencer from the battery murdering, the Tesla battery murdering uh, video. Yes, People indeed. don't like you because you were taking apart that battery. Well, you know, we, it's great because that's we what we do. Put them in all kinds of things. Is so. this one getting a battery pack? This is getting, Tesla? Uh, yeah, this is getting a smart Tesla module. So a little different oh. than the Model S modules that we had before. Tesla, uh, no, no less though. It's still Tesla. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just finished up most of the designs for that and the computer and uh, get the parts water jetted and I'll have new batteries in this thing. But uh, this was uh, my original conversion that I did in my garage about a year a little finished a little over a year ago oh really uh-huh and you're uh, a newcomer <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> wow that's, that's cool <laughs> and uh yeah so it's a little it's a little bit of a home brew home brew but uh i put uh, just 20, so we like them 2015 chevy volt seats in it oh no way yeah which is pretty sweet because the volkswagen that's seats kind of suck I so this one you have nice. vertical height adjust on it yeah. and it's all mechanical which is great um and uh, yes. it also they also have seat heaters which is nice seat and i have heaters. to hook those up um but i got the pin out you know what's the only bad thing about these seats because hmm. i used to we used to have a car is they rip right here oh yeah which i'm surprised these ones are not because well, i know they, got them, they had 10 000 mi less than 10,000 miles oh, on so the chevy volt that i pulled the them out of so really they were broke it was a crash yeah oh, crash bolt. i pulled the battery pack and then all right, so by the time you hit 36,000 miles and you have to return that volt, yeah. you usually rip there and you're like, oh man, they're gonna oh, shut me. <laughs> yeah, so I know. Well, oh, that's good to know. But, that's uh, cool. So far, they've been really good and comfortable. And, uh, nice. Yeah, I just got a standard kind of AC50 setup. I can give you guys a little. Uh, All right, let's check it out here. Probably a little dusty. Oh, check it out. Um, and you just mounted the controller up there. Yeah, and I got my little fan blowing across there. Because it's got a, a heat. Well, it's, yeah, it's just because it's air-cooled. Yeah. Um, but I don't have any problems overheating or anything as long as that fan's on. Um, 
and you have to forgive the clip lead right now because I, <laughs> that was a, a temporary wiring fix that ended up lasting about a month and uh, yeah. since I'm putting new batteries in it I'm gonna redo it and it's gonna have a liquid cooled system so there's no point in going back until I redo that um, yeah and uh, a yeah a giant <laughs> Breaker. Uh, breaker. Yeah, dude. Resettable uh, cable pulls, emergency cable pull disconnect, and so that you if I pull too much amperage, it'll it'll pop. How 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 much? Amperage? I think it's rated for 400 amps, but this is the this is the 550 amp uh, Curtis controller. So oh, it, this is the uh, this is a smaller one. Yeah, this is the the baby one. Um, Wait, 70. What? Yeah, the the oh, old it's one. Not full, it's not a full voltage. It's not like 130 volts. Here. No, it is. It's a well. I'm not running 130 volts, but the controller caps out at 550 amps rather than 650 amps. Oh, okay. It's the older. Um, they had two options back in the day. You could do a 550 or a 650. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, no. but uh, but I got th I got this whole setup used. But yeah, but yeah. So but lower. Oh, I see. I got this whole setup used for 400 dollars. Hey, that's a deal, man. Like, dude, I can get scrap for it, and it would be like that much. So that is a um, deal. So I'm not complaining on that. And I paid four thousand for mine. So yeah, I'd say, so I'd say dude, you did and, pretty good. Uh, and I bought the whole Carmen Ghia for three thousand um, dollars. Nice. With, and it had a he was a kind of a failed conversion in it. Um, oh, it was one of those. It was yeah. It had a DC a net gain DC brushed, mm. and it it drove but not very well. And uh, I ended up selling the motor out of it for twelve hundred dollars <laughs> and. <laughs> Selling the batteries off for another thousand. So oh wow! So I you made some money. I mean, made some money. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this will this will be much prettier soon. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the batteries I paid four hundred dollars for a fifteen kilowatt hour. Oh, that's right. This were uh, <laughs> these were these were, were a, they? Uh, actually a, a postal van project that the government I think uh, issued to uh, zap. Up in Northern California, and uh, oh, it's a tiny little bag. They made these, this, these Box. special fancy. This is all like CNC to aluminum. CNC. Yeah, wow. Really nice. Got liquid cooling ports on it. They're uh, they're Dow Kokum cells. Um, oh, 80 amp hour. Those are the ones and, that can push a bunch of power out. Yeah, you can, but they weren't in perfect shape, so I had to. Inst I have to use a BMS mm -hmm. um, to balance the cells. Constantly, yeah. um, which is nice. I can plug in my laptop and see the voltages of Where all the cells, and I have another identical one of these units behind the back seat. Oh, okay, so it's two. So of it's these. two of these in parallel, and um, I'm actually running a little lower voltage. So my, these are pretty awesome little boxes. They're 180 okay. pounds, though, oh. so they they filled. If you take this lid off, you see there's 24 cells, and they're all epoxyed in. Oh, like, so you do put in all the cells. Them. Yeah, you can't swap out bad cells. So they literally just poured epoxy and filled it up, and it made it really heavy and oh. not serviceable, which sucks. That's why I got them for so cheap. Oh. Um, but it gets me from San Diego State over here to San Marcos and and really hasn't given me any problems. Um, at what speed, though? Up <laughs> at the, uh, so now, though, the plan is to put those new smarts in, and I'll have 36 kilowatt hour. Yeah, um, you get and That's going to be six modules up here. And another six modules back behind the back seat. So, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. And there comes a bus. Another bus. 